Hello, my name is Jason Kunst. I'm a technical marketing engineer for the Cisco Security Policy and Access team focusing on Identity Services Engine and Guest Access. This presentation is focused around Guest Social Media Login with Facebook. Today I will do a quick overview of the features, its configuration, and a demo of the basic flow. In ICE 2.3, we have the ability to allow guests to log in and register with Facebook credentials. This gives the guest a quick and seamless way to use ICE guest services without the need of yet another set of credentials. It also provides the administrator and sponsors with visibility into some basic guest information without requiring them to fill out a form. ICE 2.3 will only work with Facebook as a social media provider. There are three ways to use social media login with ICE. First is no registration. The users accesses self-registration guest network and clicks to log in using social media. A basic registration is done behind the scenes and a token is given for the user device to present to ICE. They are then granted access until the guest network expires or the device leaves the network. The second method is with registration. A user accesses self-registration network and clicks to log in. This time, they're directed to complete a registration form that has been pre-populated from the provider's known information. They can then correct and add missing information and submit that information. They are then granted access. And finally, registration and sponsor approval. This is the same as registration flow, but the end, at the end, the user is informed that they have to await an approval from a sponsor. The sponsor is notified via email they can single click to approve the account and then the user guest is then notified via email or SMS text messaging that they are now granted access. At that point they'll click to log in again. Now let's walk through a quick setup and test of the flow. So next we'll go ahead and set up our Facebook app. We'll go to developers.facebook.com and I'm already logged into a to a developer account here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new app. Here you give it a name. I'm going to call it Ice Social Media and a contact email and create the app ID. From here, we'll need to gather some information to use in the configuration of ICE. So we go over to the dashboard, and you'll notice there's an app ID and an app secret. Well, we're going to use that to copy and paste into ICE. So now we'll go over to Identity Services Engine. We'll go over to Administration, Identity Management, and External Identity Sources. From here, we'll go to the Social Login. We'll add a social login. We'll name it Ice Social Media. <clears throat> we'll go back over to our Facebook and copy and paste the app ID. And then we'll grab the app secret as well. And we'll hit submit. Now we've configured a social media provider as an external identity source. Next we'll go over to work centers, guest access, and portals and components. Here we'll select the default self-registration portal. Go to login page settings. Check allow social login. And you'll see Facebook is the only option available. And our configured social media provider is available here. We'll save this page. You can see on the right hand side here on our preview now that we're using social login um, in our our flow diagram. Now we'll go back over to administration, identity management, and external identity sources. Select social login and our, our provider. 
Now that you can see that we're associated against the self-registered guest portal, that we have our URLs that are presented to Facebook, we'll need to configure these over on the Facebook side. So start first by copying this URL, uh, both URLs actually. <clears throat> Go over to our social media app, click Add Product, and choose the Facebook login. Next, we'll go over to settings. We'll want to paste those URLs right in here on separate lines. We have some, a little other configuration. We want to make sure that the client OAuth login is set to no. Web, auth, web OAuth login is set to yes. Force web OAuth reauthentication is no. Embedded browser OAuth login is no. We've entered the URLs and login of devices is no. Then we save the changes. One thing you want to do once you do all your testing is go over to App Review and make your, make your app public. You can choose a category such as Business and then confirm your setting. Now Facebook and ICE configuration is complete. We can go back to ICE, go to Work Centers, Guest Access, Portals and Components, choose our configured portal. From here, we'll click on the portal test URL, which is an easy way to test out a client without having to worry about a wireless setup or a real client, and you just want to see if everything works before you go live. So here we can click Login with Facebook. Since I am already logged in with a Facebook account, uh, I won't have to log into the page again here, but I will need to authorize the ICE social media app um, to to provide my public profile and email address information. So here I click continue. Uh, at that point, token is exchanged between ICE and the social media in my browser. I accept my AUP and I'm on the network. That's pretty much it. Now we can get into the monitoring and reporting capabilities of ICE around social media. So we'll go back to ICE. And we'll go to Operation Radius Live Logs. You can see here there's an entry. Uh, we don't have IP address or Max. We use the portal test URL. We didn't have a radius session you know, with a real wireless client. Regardless, we can see uh, all the information that's interesting to social media. Uh, as an example, that um, <clears throat> the user type is non-guest, the authentication store is ICE social media, which is the app we set up between social, uh, Facebook and ICE. There's a social media ID. This is the actual guest username as well. You can follow this URL here to the Facebook profile to know who's logging into the network. And you see the email address um, and other types of information. We can also go over to operations report uh, operations and the reports and look at our guest report under the master guest report um, you'll see entries for that social media identifier um, in the different actions that were taken thank you for watching for more information please visit our community cs.co slash ice dash community go to the guest and web authentication section and there will be more community posts around Facebook social media and a how-to guide listed there. Have a great day. And again, thank you.